Yo, what's good everybody? As you can see, I finally upgraded to a 165 hertz monitor. It is curved. It's one millisecond. It is called the G-Line second gen ROC, or AOC, my bad. C24 G1A 24 curved gaming monitor. It is 24 inches, by the way. And now I will unbox it. All right, when you open the box, it shows you uh, how to assemble it both parts so that's pretty cool I'm gonna open it that's what it looks like comes with uh, I don't even know what this is instruction manual uh, this is the power cord obviously because the power cords this is the U or the Display port uh, cable. You need one of these to run uh, 165 hertz. And it also comes with a HDMI, just a regular HDMI cord. And now, I believe that is it. Oh, and I forgot about this. It comes with a quick setup guide right here for the C24G1A. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And the, the rest is the monitor. All right, so when you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like. It has a stand right here for the bottom of it. Right here, it's kind of big, but you can always use a, a dual monitor uh, like setup thing. Or monitor stand, with, that's what they're called. Uh, and yeah, now I'll open it. All right, when you take the top off, it comes with the bottom part, or the second part of the stand, the main part. And obviously it comes with the monitor as well. So now I will show you that as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take it out of this. Get this out of here. And here is what it looks like. Right here, I'm gonna try my best. It says it has a 165 Hertz. It has an HDMI port. It has, I don't know what game mode means, but it shows like everything it has, like all the perks of it. And now I'm gonna put the stand on the bottom and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the bottom of the stand. It's really simple to put the, uh, to put the second part up. It looks like that. And now I just have to screw it in at the bottom. All right, this is what it looks like. And now you have to screw it. I can't do it on camera though, because I'm recording this by myself, but I'll show you what it looks like at the end. As you can see, it's loose right now. All right, so as you can tell, so as you can tell, I screwed it in now, and now it's looking pretty good. Just let me flip it over. Now it's looking pretty good. This is the bottom, this is where the monitor goes, and now I will put the monitor on top of it. All right, it's very simple to put this on the back of the monitor. You see these little metal things right here? You make sure it goes in these holes right here. Make sure it's lined up. And then you push it in, and then push down. Then it clicks in, and to get it off, it's pretty simple too. You see this right here? You just pull it up and then push up and then it comes out if you want to ever remove it. And yeah, now it's connected. Simple as that. All right, so cool thing about this monitor is you can you can lower it and you can tilt it up and tilt it down. You can't tilt it down that much, but who needs to tilt it down that much? This is level, this is down. I mean, it. I don't know who would need to, I mean, I understand if you have like four monitors, you can tilt it down, but I don't understand. But you can raise it up, tilt it up if you need to. And it can be anywhere. This is as low as it goes. Like compared to my other monitor, let me show you. All right, so this is my other monitor. It is on like just a normal, sorry, it's a dusty. This is on a normal stand, you can't move it. And this is as low as the new monitor I got goes. And let me show you as high. Hold up. And this is how high it goes compared to my other monitor. Pretty nice, pretty nice, but I'll probably just leave it at the same level. They are not the same brand, by the way, which I know can uh, make some people mad, but I do what I have to do. All right, so I have it hooked up. This is my older monitor, this is my new one. I have to set up dual monitors yet, but I'm gonna show you how to make it 140 or 165 Hertz, because it doesn't come automatically 165 Hertz. You, you uh, right click and then you press display settings 
it'll come up like this and you go all the way down to advanced display settings this is if you have amd by the way and right now it says the refresh rate is about 60 and right down here is where you can change it and change it to 165 or 144 if you want and look at this keep changes it feels way smoother honestly I've only ever played on 60 hertz, so this is crazy. Everything feels way smoother, bro. But now I'm gonna set up dual monitors and show you some gameplay, probably. All right, as you can see, they aren't the same color, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fix some of these settings over here. As you can see, I set up the dual monitors. And to set them up, you go into display settings again, and then you go down here. And it should say detect somewhere down here, but mine already has it. And it should look like this once once you have two displays and it'll say which one is one and which one is two. This one's one, this one's two. So yeah, that's how you set up dual monitors. I looked it up on Google, by the way. Google is the best. So yeah, now I'm gonna change some of these settings and yeah. All right guys, so now I'm in creative. Uh, I kept my FPS at 180, by the way, because if you have a 165 hertz monitor, you're supposed to cap it at the, the FPS above your hertz. So if you have a 60, you're supposed to cap it at 120. But most people don't, just like me. And by the way, I'm using my own map. You won't be able to see the 165 hertz like on YouTube because it only records in uh, 60 frames. But I'd, you can just base it off my reaction and see how you like it. All right, so now, as you can see, I'm going to crank. This is my own map, by the way. Don't mind those uh, builds falling. Uh, I don't know who that was. It must have been a ghost. But this is my map. I made it. It says hi over there. I put that, by the way. Shout out to me, my friends, Dry, Phoenix, and Gemma. Or Hema, or Gems, whatever you want to call her. But, yeah, I'm just going to crank, and you can base your thoughts off of my reaction of how smooth it is. Because you can't see it on YouTube, obviously. But every little movement feels so smooth compared to 60 hertz. Like I can feel everything. And aiming too, like... I mean, it's at... Like you can just re react like way faster. It feels like at least. But anyways, that's about it. I just did a little crank for you. Kind of... Kind of bad, kind of good, whatever you want to call me. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning into the video. If this helped you out, make sure to leave a like or ask me any or ask me any questions in the comments below about the monitor or anything about my map or anything. And as always, have a great day.